Natural disaster debris creates many logistical, economic, environmental, health, and social impacts that communities must deal with after a disaster. Climate change is expected to increase the frequency and intensity of disasters, which may create larger amounts of debris, which, in turn, will increase impacts on communities. But what if all that debris wasn't generated during a disaster? Communities can act now to reduce the volume of debris that needs to be cleaned up. You can develop a comprehensive disaster debris management plan and implement local resiliency measures. For example, the community on the left side of the screen incorporated updated building codes, expanded reuse and recycling programs, including adding household hazardous waste collection events, restricted building in high-risk areas, deconstructed abandoned buildings. These measures can lead to less waste and preserve valuable limited resources and landfill space. Communities with debris plans and resiliency measures in place are more resilient when natural disasters occur. Resilient communities need fewer resources to rebuild, contain less harmful materials, generate less debris, and recover faster. For example, after a disaster occurred, the community on the left side of the screen sustained less damage to buildings, reused, recycled, and composted more debris, had less debris to clean up, returned to its previous state more quickly. Even after a disaster, Communities can implement resiliency measures to manage debris more sustainably and reduce the volume of waste. You can reuse salvaged and reclaimed materials in new building and construction projects, recycle damaged building materials and contents, such as scrap metal, appliances, electronics, concrete, and asphalt, compost clean vegetative debris, animal carcasses, and food waste. Check out these and other EPA tools for help creating a comprehensive disaster debris management plan and increasing community resiliency at epa.gov slash homeland dash security dash waste slash tools.